G'day and welcome to another episode of Mr. Code Steam Podcast. Today we are going to learn how to build your first Arduino project with this Key Studio Max development board. For those who don't know, Arduino is a hugely popular microcontroller that can control lights, sensors, and motors for the fraction of the cost of using a computer. And if you've seen any of my other videos, you might confuse the Arduino with the Raspberry Pi, but there is a key difference. The Raspberry Pi is an actual fully-fledged Linux-based computer for more complex projects, while the Arduino is a simpler microcontroller that is super light, very cheap, and very energy efficient. Now, if you were going to make an AI camera with like facial recognition or play video games, then you would probably use a Raspberry Pi. However, if you're making a sensor-based uh, LED light or an alarm system that doesn't need uh, much in the terms of web connectivity, then you would use an Arduino. And today we are going to use this Arduino Uno compatible development board from Key Studio, which has integrated lights, buttons, and speakers, so that uh, it is the perfect start for new programmers to make a simple project. And this board is ideal for those that want to learn to code an Arduino board, but do not want to put circuits uh, together on a breadboard. If you already bought this board, then you can also check the back of the box for a QR code that takes you to a landing page with uh, guided tutorials to uh, 20 built-in projects. So let's get started by downloading the Arduino software. First of all, you need to go to the Arduino website and install the right software uh, by clicking on the system that is right for you. So I'm using a Windows computer. I've downloaded the Windows version of Arduino. Secondly, we're going to unbox our Key Studio Max development board and we are going to plug it in to our computer. Let's have a look at what it looks like. So here we have our development board like this. Get some scissors. Oh, nope, we don't need scissors. We're going to just unwrap it. Here we are. You can see that there are these LED lights um, and uh, uh, speakers. Uh, beepers, sorry, uh, integrated with this board so that you don't have to wire it up yourself, which is really nice. So straight after you have plugged in the um, the USB cable onto the uh, the board, it should automatically install the software. And you can double check that by going into search your device uh, settings or uh, what you call the device manager. So go down to the bottom left of your search bar and then type in device manager and it should come out like this. Um, so you can see here that we have our Arduino board here on um, the Silicon Labs CP210. So this has been installed correctly. If there was a yellow exclamation mark, then I will leave a link down the bottom of the description so that you can uh, debug uh, how to install it manually. And then the next thing is uh, opening up the Arduino software. So let's go into Arduino. So when you load up Arduino, it should look like this. Okay. Um, it's got um, your verifying um, button up the top. So if we press this, it checks to make sure that there aren't any errors in your code when it's compiling. Okay. It doesn't stop any of the runtime kind of stuff, but uh, at least you can see if you have uh, typed all your code correctly when you hit verify. Next, this is the upload button uh, that actually puts the code uh, or the sketch that they call in Arduino into your board. Uh, but actually the first thing we have to do is we need to set what kind of board we have. We go into tools, we select board, hover over board, and then we choose Arduino Uno, okay? So this Key Studio Max board is an Arduino Uno compatible board. Uh, what that means is it's basically the same as an Arduino Uno with a few more bells and whistles attached. Okay, so we choose Arduino Uno at the top, and then we also choose the uh, port number. So here we go back to tools, go down to COM port 22, and 
that's it. That's all we have to do. Um, uh, the code here uh, is very simple at the moment, but we want to test um, uh, our code by making a blinking light. So let's go into File, Examples, and then Basics, and we will click on Blink. So scroll down, basically what it's doing is it's finding an LED, and then it's going to um, do this digital right um, command, which is going to uh, switch the LED status. And then we go LED built in high, which makes it uh, turn on. And then it's going to delay 1000, sort of like the sleep command in Python. So delay 1000 milliseconds. Uh, so wait for one second. And then we're going to switch it to low for one second. And it's going to keep looping this uh, constantly. All right. So here we click verify. Compile the sketch. Yep, it's all done. Click upload to upload the sketch. That's done too. And now you can check your handiwork. As soon as it's uploaded, it will just constantly run on the Arduino as long as it's got power. So let's have a look at our table again. You can see now that lights, the big lights aren't flashing anymore, but there is one light flashing. Can you see it? It is right there. <laughs> so that is the built-in um, uh, light that is, that is flashing exactly uh, on for one second and then off for a second. If you made it up to here on the video, then congratulations, you are now an Arduino programmer. Please consider liking and subscribing to my channel. I make new technology videos every few weeks uh, and your support really, really helps me out. So the next thing we're gonna do is a Hello World project. Normally we do the Hello World project first, but because it's so easy to get this, um, this light blinking uh, up and running, uh, I've left it to later. So. Uh, and also, the code is going to be in the description as well. So you just go into the GitHub link uh, down below to download whatever code you need, okay? Uh, let's cancel and change our code. So here is our Hello World code. Uh, down here is where uh, the interesting part happens, okay? So when we are reading that we have pressed the letter H on the keyboard, then it types hello world. Why do we do that? It's because uh, for Arduino, there isn't a real like on startup kind of event. Um, uh, there's this constant loop that is happening uh, where, when you plug the Arduino in, okay? So in order for it to do something when you want it to, uh, we can uh, add like a keystroke on the keyboard. And that's basically what this does. So here, compile the code. Uh, upload it, and then we need to open the serial monitor. So here we go into tools, and then we click on serial monitor. Here we are. So here's the serial monitor. You hit the word, the uh, sorry, the letter H, press enter, and then it will show hello world. Okay, very, very simple. Okay, for our third project today, we are going to have some fun. We're going to start writing some uh, letters and numbers onto this light matrix on the back of this Key Studio Max board. Um, it took a little more work than I expected. But basically what we need to do is we need to install the libraries in order to uh, access this uh, light matrix. The first thing we're going to do is go into the um, Dropbox link that I'm going to have on the bottom of the page now uh, to uh, download your libraries. After you have downloaded the libraries, you need to extract it uh, onto a folder, okay? And this is what it should look like, okay? So you'll have your folder arranged like this. Uh, you go inside the libraries, and then you'll find this Key Studio LED backpack um, uh, folder. You right-click onto it, and then you go compress to zip file, and you will end up with this uh, zip file ver <laughs> sorry zip file version of the folder. Okay. Once you have that ready, then we go back into Arduino. Okay. We go back into Arduino. Go into Sketch. Go into Include Library. Then Add Zip Library. Click on that and you go find that 
zip file that we just created that has that backpack and then you press open and that is how we install the library i've already got, got it pre-installed but uh if you install it again uh you will see this library installed message basically means that you now can access the key studio specific um, stuff that makes it so much more handy than having to wire up your own breadboard right so uh you have your library installed then we can copy our new code as before this code is going to be on my github okay so here uh, we have our backpack libraries so if you if you didn't uh, import the libraries then you would get all sorts of errors here so here we've got our backpack uh, library uh, we get our matrix to get started we clear the matrix and then we start turning the uh, the letters on let's make it go for one second and then let's clear everything and then let's put CA for Creator Academy so what's a video without a little bit of self-promotion right uh, let's verify our code done and then we press upload and it is done all right fantastic now it's got go ca ah awesome okay uh as i said all our code is going to be on the um on our github link below I want to thank the sponsor of today's video, JCAR. When it comes to technology, our school is always reaching out to the experts at JCAR. They are the leading DIY electronics retailer in Australia and New Zealand with over 130 stores. So if you're in Australia or New Zealand and you want to buy Arduino supplies like all the equipment shown in today's video, then make sure you check out the range and visit the JCAR website or pop into a store near you. That's it from me today. I hope you had fun. If you have any questions, make sure you pop them into the comment section below. I will see you later. Take care.